Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar. Ifa Tunde, Ogunta Day. The King Kong of Consciousness and the Fresh Prince of Pan Africanism. I'm coming to you live and direct on the 4th of July. 159 AE. I'm coming to you live and direct on the 4th of July. 159 AE. I'm coming to you live and direct on the 4th of July. 159 AE. AE stands for after emancipation. AE stands for after emancipation. AE stands for after emancipation. Emancipation. We are 159 years since the ratification of the 13th Amendment in December of 1865. You're talking to the Prince of Pan-Africanism who was born 10 minutes away from Independence Hall with slave masters Thomas Jefferson and slave masters George Washington enslaved masters James Madison, enslaved masters Ben Franklin, slave masters declared independence from Great Britain. I was born in the city where the white power structure was created. Brothers and sisters, I want to say this and I don't want to keep too much of your time. I'm going to say this and I need you to hear me well. I want you to understand, understand, and overstand me. I want you to understand and overstand and understand the snow bunny boogeyman this afternoon. I have a question for my Negro peons. I have a question for my Negro peons. What are you celebrating on the 4th of July, 159 AE? I'm going to ask again. I need some answers from the Negro Peans today. What are you celebrating on July the 4th, 159 after emancipation? What are you celebrating? Somebody answer this question for me. The Snow Bunny Boogeyman needs to know what are you celebrating on July 4th, 159 years after emancipation? See, let me say this to you. One thing is for certain, two things are for sure. Slaves don't celebrate slave master freedom. Free people damn sure don't celebrate slave master freedom. Do you realize on July the 4th of 1776, our ancestors were still enslaved by these United States? Are you aware that on July 4th, 1776, our ancestors were still picking cotton? They were still milling rum. They were still caning sugar. They were still searching for indigo. So why do we celebrate Thomas Jefferson's freedom from Great Britain? Why do we celebrate slave master George Washington's independence from Great Britain? Why do we celebrate Benjamin Franklin's emancipation from Great Britain when our ancestors were still their slaves? When our ancestors were still their slaves? When our ancestors were still their slaves and would remain their slaves? For another 100, excuse me, for another 89 years. From 1776 to 1865 is 89 years. From 1776 to 1865 is 89 years. From 1776 to 1865 were 89 years. And for you fancy Negroes of the Pretendian Society, and for you fancy Negroes of the Pretendian Society who may have had an ancestor who was 
a part of the revolutionary Maroon Village? Let us not be mistaken. They too were subject to white supremacy. They too had to battle white supremacy. They too were under treaty with the United States government. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Pretendians and Negropeans were all victims of the American power structure. Pretendians and Negropeans were all victims of the American power structure. Pretendians and Negropeans were all victims of the American power structure. To celebrate your slave master's freedom while you were still his slave is to validate the enslavement of African people. To celebrate the slave master's freedom while you were still his slave is to validate the enslavement of African people. Stop making excuses. I'm only celebrating being with my family. Well, it's 365 days a year. Why did you choose this day? There's no such thing as an emancipated people until you emancipate yourself from the worship of your slave master's holidays. I said there is no such thing as emancipation for a people until you emancipate yourself from the celebration of your slave master's holidays. I don't care what cookout you at. I don't care what swim party you at. I know you got the macaroni and cheese. I know you got the greens and the deviled eggs. I know you got the beef tongue and the beef ribs. I know you got the apple pie and the carrot cake. I know you got the beans and rice with the gravy. I know you can cook your ass off. But guess what, family? But guess what, family? You're doing all that cooking and all that eating and all that swimming in the honor of your slave master's freedom while our ancestors were still their slaves brothers and sisters brothers and sisters we not free not only are we not free we don't even want to be i said not only are we not free we don't even want to be i said not only are we not free we don't even want to be where's my flag I know you didn't ask me that. I know this Negro pen did not ask me that. Let me tell you about my flag. My flag is red on the top. It is black in the middle and it is green on the bottom. That is my flag. It is the flag of the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. It is the flag of the Pan-Africanist movement. It is the only flag universally voted on, approved, and adopted to be the flag of the African race. That's my flag. Now let me talk about your flag. It's not your flag. Because when your flag was created, you were still property of the U.S. government. How can it be your flag where you are not even considered a person? How can it be your flag where you are not even free? How can it be your flag where you are not even a citizen? How can it be your flag you are not even a human being? How can it be your flag when you had no rights? In the words of Supreme Court Chief Chief Justice Roger B. Taney. In the words of Supreme Court Chief Justice Roger B. Taney, he said the black man has no rights. The black man has no rights that the white man is bound to respect. And you call that your flag? You need your melanin snatched, you Negro pen. Somebody snatch that Negro pen's melanin for me. Somebody please snatch that Negro pen's melanin. He called the American flag his, his flag when he had no rights to own it. He had no rights to hold it. He had no rights to possess it. How can you call the American flag yours? When you are not even a person, you are not even recognized as a human being. You were property. You were merchandise. You were a thing. I'll tell you what red, white, and blue stands for. Red stands for the blood of our ancestors 
that was shed building this country. I said red stands for the blood of our ancestors who were beat, brutalized, maimed, dehumanized, forced to work for free until death. For 246 years, the blood of our ancestors, that's the red. That's the red. The white is the flesh of your owner your slave master, your dominator, your exploiter, your dehumanizer. That's the white of your flag for my proud Negroes. And the blue is for the blue eyes of your slave master and the blue waters that brought your ancestors. I said the blue is for the blue eyes of your slave master and the blue waters that brought your ancestors to this country. Somebody said we should love America for what she is now. Well, can I ask you a question, my Negro peons? Can I ask you a question, my bunny hopping Negro peons? You said I should love America for what she is. Well, let me ask you, what exactly is she? You said that I should love America for what she is now. So I ask you, what exactly is she now? Are you any more free now than July 4th, 1776? Are you treated any more equal now than July 4th, 1776? Are the police sparing your lives any more now than the slave trackers on July 4th, 1776. If I should love America now, I must love oppression. If I should love America now, I must love slave trafficking of black children. If I love America now, I must love the lynchings and hangings of Africans in America today. If I love America now, I must love mass incarceration and miseducation. If I love America, I must love gentrification. I must love third class citizenship. If I love America now, I must love my own people's pain i must be in love with my own people's misery i must love the fact that i will never ever be treated like a political economic or social equal in this land you know what brothers and sisters i'm not going to give you my words I'm going to give you the words of my four times great grand cousin, the most honorable Frederick Douglass right now, because you do know the greatest black leader in American history is my blood cousin. You do know that the greatest black leader in American history is my four times great grand blood cousin. You do know the grandparents who raised Frederick Douglass are my six times great grandparents. You do know that, right? You do know that Isaac and Betsy Bailey who raised Frederick and my grandfather Stephen are my six times great grandparents. Let me tell you what Frederick Douglass had to say on this day. See, y'all playing with the prince right now. Let me quote the greatest black leader of all time. He said, what to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that reveals to him more than all other days in the year. The gross injustice and cruelty to which he is the constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham. Your boasted liberty and unholy license. Your national greatness swelling vanity your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless your denunciation of tyrants brass fronted impudence your shouts of liberty and equality are nothing more than hollow mockery your prayers and hymns your sermons and thanksgivings with all your religious parade and solemnity are to him mere bombast fraud deception impiety hypocrisy, a thin veil to cover up crimes 
which would disgrace a nation of savages. Let me repeat that. A thin veil to cover up crimes, which would disgrace a nation of savages. I'm going to say it again. Frederick Douglass said your 4th of July is nothing more than a thin veil to cover up crimes that would disgrace a nation of savages. There is not a nation on the earth guilty of practices more shocking and bloody than are the people of these United States at this very hour. Brothers and sisters, And look what we have here. A black man and his bunny holding hands as they leave the restaurant. A black man and his bunny holding hands as they leave the restaurant. Lord have mercy. We not free. We ain't free. We don't want to be free. We don't care to be free. The average American African, the average Americanized African only wants one thing. He only wants one thing. He wants to imitate the Caucasian. He wants to be accepted by the Caucasian. I said, all y'all want to do is the, you want the right to imitate and participate. You don't want liberation. You want imitation privileges and validation privileges. You want imitation privileges and you want validation privileges. We could have been free a long time ago. Don't tell me we still ain't free after 159 years because of the white man. Don't you tell me that. I'm coming to you live and direct from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I'm coming to you live and direct from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I'm about to walk through the Cherry Hill Mall and y'all better not start another Cherry Hill Snow Bunny crisis. I'm about to walk through the Cherry Hill, New Jersey Mall and y'all better not start another Cherry Hill Snow Bunny crisis. I'm about to walk through the Cherry Hill, New Jersey Mall and you better not start another Cherry Hill Snow Bunny crisis. You would be free by now if you valued freedom. You would be liberated by now if you valued liberation. You would be equal by now if you validated equality, but you told the Caucasian, I don't need to be free, just give me social media. You told the Caucasian, I don't need to be equal, just give me the right to marry your white woman. You told the Caucasian, I don't want freedom and justice. I just want the right to live in a white neighborhood and shop at a white mall, that's right. You gave up the right to human equality for economic participation. You gave up the right for human equality just to participate economically in the white man's capitalism. You are a laughing mockery of the African race, a disgrace to every ancestor who toiled on the plantation. Who texted my phone? Who texted my phone? What to the slave is the fourth? Oof. Mm. Okay. Do not tempt me, queens. I'm talking to the people. No temptations right now. No temptation. This ain't 1950. You were better off in 1950. You were better in 1950. You had your own schools. In 1950, black people were black children were still taught by black people in 1950. In 1950, you had hotels. In 1950, you had your own gas stations. In 1950, you had your own trains. What do you mean this ain't 1950? You were better off in 1950 than you were now. In 1950, we didn't let police come in our community and kill black folks and get away with it. What do you mean this ain't 1950? You think you're doing better, you're doing worse, but you can't tell because you're trapped in the illusion of European materialism. You are a laughing stock of the human race and a disgrace to every African ancestor who ever suffered under the lash. 
Segregation didn't damage you. Integration damaged you. Repeal Loving versus Virginia 1967. Make it illegal for the black man to bunny hop. Make it illegal for the black man to bunny hop. I want to repeal it. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, you have my permission to repeal the 1967 Loving versus Virginia bunny hop decision. Repeal it. In fact, you can bring back segregated schools. Put our kids back in those one room schoolhouses because we learned better when we were taught by black teachers. Get us out of the snow bunny castles you call public school. Get our children out of the snow bunny castles you call public school. Bring back segregation because integration ain't working. Lord have mercy. Sister, I'm talking to the people on 4th of July. How dare you send me a picture of your Cinnabons in that beautiful purple phone. I need you to stay focused right now. Sisters, we need y'all to stay focused. The brothers can't struggle if the sisters ain't focused. The brothers can't struggle if the sisters ain't focused. The brothers can't struggle if the sisters ain't focused. This ain't the time for Cinnabons. This ain't the time for Cinnabons. This is the time for revolution. Have you signed up for my mailing list? Who's in Cherry Hill, New Jersey right now? Where my Jersey Africans at? Where my Camden, New Jersey Africans at? Where my Willingboro, New Jersey Africans at? Where my Trenton, New Jersey Africans at? Where my Montclair? Where my Newark? I'm going to see y'all. Sunday, July 15th, Source of Knowledge Bookstore, Newark, New Jersey. Make sure y'all pull up. Bring your children for the free black book giveaway. Bring your children for the free black book giveaway. Bring your children for the free black book giveaway Sunday, July the 15th, Source of Knowledge Bookstore, Newark, New Jersey, 10 to 6, King Kong will take the mic at 2. 10 to 6, King Kong will take the mic at 2. London, August 11th, where my London Africans at? Where my Stockholm, Sweden Africans? I'm going to see you in September, Stockholm, Sweden, Oslo, Norway, where y'all at? Pull up season, E5 Tune Day coming back to Europe, and I ain't taking no prisoners. Where are my beautiful African European queens at? Where are my beautiful African Swedish queens? My African Norway queens, my African London queens. Sunday is the 14th. Hold on. Hold on, sister. Hold on. Hold on. Sunday the 14th, my apologies. 10 days from today, we will be at Source of Knowledge. I got Breakfast Club on Tuesday, July 9th. Charlemagne Envy, and I will meet Sister Jess Hilarious for the first time. Charlemagne Envy, and I will meet Sister Jess Hilarious for the first time. What's happening in New York Tuesday? I'm trying to pull up on somebody on Tuesday. What we doing? What black businesses in New York City should I pull up on Tuesday after the Breakfast Club interview? What black businesses in New York City should I pull up on after the Breakfast Club interview on Tuesday? I said, what black businesses in New York City should I pull up on after the Breakfast Club interview on Tuesday? Costa Rica, July 16th and 17th. I might have to go to Jamaica for the Garvey Fest on Sunday, July the 18th. I'm trying to wait on Jamaica to let me know if I'm coming to Jamaica for Garvey Day on Sunday the 18th in Ocho Rios, or are they just going to put me on for Garvey Day next summer? I'm waiting to hear back from my good friends at Irie FM. Shout out to Irie FM in Jamaica. Dana Owens Restaurant. Where is that at? I'm pulling up on some New York City businesses after the Breakfast Club. I'm pulling up in some New York City businesses after the Breakfast Club interview on Tuesday. If you got a podcast in New York City and you want to interview me for your podcast Tuesday or North Jersey, New York City and North Jersey, if you got a podcast and you want to interview me Tuesday, you know I'm not free, so don't even play them games. 
You know I'm not free, so don't even play them games. You know it's not free, so don't even play them games. You can text me, 215-989-9858. Melanin Drip. Cherry Hill, New Jersey. King Kong Consciousness, Black Queens Forever, Bunnies Never, 